and we are back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a spider web in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start with the photo grid tool. You can use the arrow keys left and right, up and down to create the shapes that we need. We need something like this. Just hold shift and we've got a perfect circle. Make sure it's selected. We only have a black stroke, no fill color. Maybe we use two points as a stroke way. Go to object and path, then add anchor points. Now we need an effect. Go to effect, distort and transform, pucker and bloat. Activate preview and we will go down in the direction of pucker. Maybe minus 15%, something like that, minus 10, minus 20. Try it out for yourself until you found something that you like. Make sure it's still selected, go to object and expand. And I'll align it properly. Now we need the line segment tool. Go to the center position, drag it upwards, hold shift and it will snap in 45 degree increments and then hold alt and you've got it top to bottom. Just as we need it. It's also black and has a stroke weight of 2. Now we need to rotate to go to the center position, hold Alt and then lift click. And we have 8 corners, so 360 divided by 8 is 45 degrees. Preview, you see what you're doing, copy and then press Ctrl D two times. You can group it afterwards, right click, group it. And you can play a bit around with the strokes. So select it, go to window, open your stroke menu. The corners, if you change them, nothing happens. So just keep it the way it is. But we want to have rounded caps. You can see that here at the bottom. Rounded looks the best, so we'll keep that. You can try out different alignments for the stroke, but the center one looks best in this example, so I'll simply keep it. And that's it. This is how you can create a spider web symbol in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.